Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Amelie Hetterich and I am a Games Engineering Intern at ImmaVR in Germany. In our last videos we gave you some general tips on how to take better photos both in 180 and 360 degree photography. Today we will show you some specific tips for your photography with the Wuse XR camera. So let's get started with the basics. To turn your camera on, hold the power button pressed for about 3 seconds. Once your camera is turned on, you will notice an icon indicating whether your camera is in photo mode or in video mode. To switch between the two, press the power button once. The Vuse XR camera is a hybrid camera and can do both 180 and 360 degree photography. The button in the back will open the camera into 180 degree mode. When holding your camera in 180 degree mode, you might be inclined to do this. However, your fingers will be shown in the image later, so to avoid that, hold it like this and press the shutter button with the other hand from behind. Also, try to avoid rotations that might look weird when watching your images later in VR. If you plan to take your Vuse XR camera with you on a trip to take pictures, you will want to make sure to have a power bank ready. From our experience, you will need this especially for longer tours, since the battery life of the Vuse XR camera lasts only for about an hour if you continuously leave it on. To access additional features, you can connect your camera to your smartphone. First, you will need to download the Vuse XR camera app in the App Store. To connect your camera with your smartphone, press the Wi-Fi button on your camera once to turn it on. Connect your phone with your camera's Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi name can be seen on the bottom of the camera and the super secure password is 12345678. Make sure to not press the Wi-Fi button for longer than 5 seconds or else your Wi-Fi settings will be reset. Once your camera is connected, you can open the app on your smartphone where you can access new functionality. For example, you can change the exposure compensation, the shutter speed or ISO, or you could set a timer. The app has another useful feature and that is rendering. When transferring your photos from your camera onto your computer, you will most likely notice that you cannot watch your photos just yet. There is one step you need to do before being able to view them, and that is rendering. During rendering, your photos are converted from a fisheye projection format to an equirectangular format. This is usually done by a special software on your computer. However, in the Vuse camera app, just select photo format and choose Stitch JPEG to render directly. Then you can export your photos from your camera and enjoy them immediately without the extra step. If you've already taken your pictures without this feature and want to render them, we will show you how to do that. Get the Vuse VR Studio software from the manufacturer's website and connect your camera to your PC or laptop. When the software opens, navigate to your RAW images and select the ones you want to render. Click Render and Render All to save your final images on your device. You should be aware that the software on your computer currently has a bug that leads to a disadvantage compared to rendering directly. When your phone is connected to your camera, the GPS location of your images will be saved as well. However, by using the software on your computer right now, this information will be lost again. So if you'd like to keep your GPS data, you need to render directly on your phone. So these were our tips for your photography with the Vuse XR camera. Avoid having fingers in your pictures take a power bank with you on longer trips and use the app for additional features. You can even render directly on the app or do it later on your PC. Thank you and please subscribe to our channel.